Hey beautiful people, welcome back to another life-changing, life-altering installment of Tea Time with A. We don't always drink tea, but honey, we do spill that tea and yeah. I've, I'm still trying to perfect the intro because I feel like it's time to move on from that intro to something more, um, something less wordy, but we'll get We'll figure something out. My name is Eric. If you're new to this party, I'm a creative entrepreneur. I'm a media presenter. I'm a storyteller. Let's get into today's conversation. So we're almost at a thousand subscribers, which I'm just like, huh? And I first of all, want to thank you guys so much for joining the party. Thank you for your constant support. Thank you so much for riding with me through the highs and the lows of this journey. It's my life on camera, kind of. So um, I'm happy that I'm able to be myself and share myself with you guys. And you guys are able to share yourselves with me as best as you can in the comment section. So um, I can't thank you guys enough. God bless you guys. I appreciate you guys so much for all of the support and all of the love. Okay, so because we have a, not a lot of new people in the family, I'm going to do an updated... <laughs> updated about me tag i did get some questions on instagram now of course i filmed with my phone so you know how to email it all that stuff child i need to get me a camera that's what it means so um <laughs> we're going to i'm gonna um answer those first and then i did get i'm gonna pull some questions from the um about me tag that i got on google so this is just for me to tell you a little bit more about myself and respond to some of the questions guys like tell me about yourself so let's get right into it First question is, how are you? Guys, I am at peace. I'm, 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 I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm, I'm rested. I'm healing, coming to terms with so many stuff and just like learning to accept myself. It has been this amazing journey of just like, who is Aek outside of her problems? Who is Aek outside of um, you know, the labels that people put on me, it has been such an empowering and interesting journey. So I'm really, really, really good or really well. I'm doing really well. I'm really, really blessed. Um, thank you for asking. How are you? Tell me about your walk with God. Okay, so whew, it's a lot, but I will summarize in it was really a roller coaster until recently when I finally said, you know what, big guy? I'm going to let you rock. Like, I'm going to let you do what you do because I haven't been doing it right at all. Um, I very much, I've said this before, I very much have a God complex. I feel like I can save everyone. I feel like people are not capable of making the right decisions for themselves because they're this or they're that. So God had to really be like, Check yourself, girl. Look in the mirror, okay? You talking about people can make good decisions. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, not that God is mean. God is not like us. You know, God's not like me. But he had to spill tea on your girl. Um, and in my journey of self-reflection, I realized how much I needed God. And I'm like, what am I doing with my life if I'm not doing what God has called me to do? Um, you know etc so it's been an interesting journey now it's definitely a walk i think before it was a drag like well i think it was a knocking on my door for like 10 years and then after knocking on my door spending like another 10 years trying to convince me to um open the storm door and then another 10 years to step outside of the house and then another 10 years to drag me down the sidewalk and then now we're walking so um it's been interesting in a good way it's been a blessing it has not always been easy um but i'm grateful for it and i'm excited for what's to come so thank you for that question that was a good one oh y'all we getting deep up in here period <laughs> okay how do you relax? <sighs> okay, so if you guys don't know this, I'm the chief enjoyment officer, period. Okay, I love to enjoy. I love to relax. I stay in my bed. Like, I lay in bed. I pretend I'm watching Netflix, but I'm actually scrolling through Instagram. <laughs> um, so, yeah, being in my bed is relaxation. Also, cleaning the bathroom is therapeutic for me. I feel like... You know, I don't know how to explain it. It just feels really good. I like hanging out with my sister, um, my friend. Well, I hang out with my friends virtually. Um, but yeah, hanging out with my sister, gisting, you know, like just spilling tea with a glass of wine or a glass of, you know, or a drink or something. That's how I like to relax. Um, what do you think your purpose is? 
Um, I feel like the purpose is personal, right? Um, it's like something that God has given me, just like God has given you your purpose. So it's like, it's for us, for God and I to know and for you all to find out, like for it to play out. So I can't, and then also too, if I'm being honest, I just went all deep, but really to be honest, I can't really verbalize it. It's just, I know that your purpose is where you're headed to and then everything else is our legs of the purpose, your career, who you um, spend your life with, your decisions, all of those things are part of the purpose. But I can articulate per se what my purpose is. Are you high maintenance? Sir, okay, let me calm down. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. Am I high maintenance? Okay, so there's this video I saw, and it's actually true. Um, and I wouldn't say women. I would say anybody who values themselves. Every person is high maintenance. You just have to choose the bracket with which you're, um, you're willing to maintain. You know what I mean? Like, do you get what I mean? So I would say I'm high maintenance. Um, not just in terms of money but like in in everything you know my peace of mind like i'm just high maintenance i want the best i expect the best i'm learning how to give myself the best and with that i'm expecting the best from those around me because i'm trying to give my best to you you know what i mean so yes i am high maintenance what is your favorite wine i like sweet wines i like moscatos um this wine called sweet red i like sweet wines uh for some reason, sweet reds I can I can go a little bit further with, but like Moscato, it's one glass and it's good night. You guys saw my Ask A video, the one where I had the wine. You saw how my eyes were like this. Yeah, um, so, um, you know what, don't get me, yeah. Yeah, Moscato kind of takes me out, but I like sweet wines. How did you clear your skin a few years ago? Okay, so if you guys are just joining us in 2017, woo, if I can find pictures, I'll show you. And you know, it's not a, it's not a big thing. Like I'm not um, criticizing people who are struggling with their skin, but it was just a shock for me because I wasn't used to having those kinds of skin issues. What it looked like was a, it was a reaction um a really really bad reaction because i had stopped using a certain hydrating product i started using the hydrator again i'm from my understanding their formula has changed so i will link the products down below because it is really good um i started seeing an esthetician in lagos she's amazing miss buki a wonderful woman knows her stuff and um, she's in Suler and Lecky. I'll put all of that information in the description down below. And I'll also recommend an esthetician here in America. I started using, she has this, um, Ms. Buki has this soap. It's like a tea tree based soap. All of her products are handmade, like she makes them herself. And the soap worked really well, the moisturizer. And yeah, I, that was really what works. I did a lot of exfoliating too. December 2018, December 2017, or like early 2018, my skin started readjusting and it was like, don't play with me like that ever again, girl. But I have stopped using the product and you know, my skin is relatively, relatively decent. <sighs> Do you prefer heat or cold weather? When I was younger, I was all for the cold weather guys i was that person like especially during the holiday season i'm like oh i need to go out i want to get feel the cold air all that stuff like i was that person now i mm -mm. i like transitional seasons um and funny enough i like the rainy i know people are gonna want to fight me on this i like the rainy season in nigeria because it's my excuse to not have to go anywhere. Especially when I was working from home, I didn't have to go anywhere because I'm like, oh, it's raining, my area is flooded. But of course that causes devastation, especially in a place like Lagos, but hey. So I like spring, I like autumn, I like those transitional seasons, but the winter, mm -mm. what are you looking forward to this year? Guys, I'm looking forward to growth. Growth, not just for myself, but for my friends and my family, like just really leveling up. I'm, tr I'm believing God for that. I'm already seeing it around me. It just, ah! I'm, I'm looking forward to it and I'm already seeing the leveling up of my people. 
um, of myself. So I'm just so grateful to God. I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to the continued growth. Like it's just accelerate. Like put the pedal to the metal. And also maybe you know taking this love thing seriously. You never know. I'm open to it. I'm open to it. You know. I'm open to the right one, not to anybody. I've already been through anybody, okay? <laughs> I've already been through trash, in the words of Nigerians. I'm not looking for trash. I'm looking for the right one. So, yeah. <laughs> Can you go vegan? Yes. Yes. I've had a conversation on my Instagram with an awesome, 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 awesome lady um, from vegan in Nigeria. And... She's like, girl, it is possible you can do it. And she lives in Nigeria, so of course it's possible. And the fact that I can still eat swallow, you guys know, I have to have swallow at least four times a week. It's just who I am. It's my, it's the culture. It's just how I was raised, you know. So the fact that I can still do that is very feasible. <laughs> Are you on TikTok? I think I saw you. Yes, you saw me on TikTok. You saw me on the For You page? What, like, because you said, are you on TikTok? I think I saw you. If you saw me on the For You page, okay, bless. Bless up. Um, yeah, I am on TikTok now. This old lady has made her way to TikTok. You guys know I like having fun. Well, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I like having fun on my reels. So I realized I like doing the reels. They're super fun. It's basically Instagram's equivalent of TikTok. So I just kind of play up. Um, certain parts of it and then I post it on TikTok. What songs are you listening to right now? Um, I'm listening to a song called Higher by Madison Rin Ward. I really love that song. Um, I'm listening to this song, to this, um, hey, I forgot his name. It's called Baby. I'll put the name of the artist down below. Twitch Forever. Really love that song. Um, Feel Good by Cuppy and um, Fireboy DML. Um, Amen by Timmy Dacolo. Um, uh, Maverick City Music came out with a new album recently. It's really, really powerful. Like, got me out here, you know, looking forward to life. It is a really good album. Which, what else? It's, it's actually an album, it's an EP. Um, Oh, I'm listening to Yale Visa. I always listen to Yale Visa. I listen to him like every day. I'm going to link all of the songs I've been listening to down below so you can get into it. Yeah, I listen to Yale Visa all the time. Um, and then there's this guy. His name is, T I don't know if it's Tacey or Takey. He's French as well. Yale Visa is French. Um, Takey is French as well. He has really good songs. I don't understand French, but I'm kind of using the music to learn. So those are the songs I'm listening to. What are you listening to? I'm curious. Okay, now let's get into the About Me tag questions. I can find them, child. Okay, so I'm going to kind of pick and choose. Okay, so I actually do get this question. Where did I grow up? I grew up in America. I was raised here, like, grew up here. A lot of us, we visit Nigeria. I visited a lot um, in 2015 I did an internship there so I was there for three months almost four months and then I moved officially in December 2016 so I grew up in America how tall am I guess people are always surprised when they see my height mm -mm. I'm actually five I think I'm actually five eight but I was getting measured and the lady who was measuring was like she didn't measure me. She stood next to me. She's like, are you sure you're 5'8"? So I'm like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, depending on who's... I mean, somewhere out there. I'm close to the higher end of the 5' foot range, but between 5'7 and 5'8". You're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Definitely La Vie Belle by um, Lancome. <sighs> What's this other one? Love Your Bell by Lancome. Um, Sexual Sugar by Mikhail German, if I pronounce that right. Um, Euphoria Intense by Calvin Klein. And um, Black Musk by The Body Shop. Guys, quick tip. If you mix Black Musk and Love Your Bell by Lancome, I like laying perfume, so definitely get into it it's like you create your own custom scent 
and it's kind of a waste of perfume you know you're gonna run out of perf it's not a waste but you, you're gonna run out of run out of it sooner than you would if you didn't layer but get into it oh there's another really good one it's a french perfume it's i'm drawing a blank right now i'll put it down here i've, I've forgotten it hmm it's not cartier i don't remember do you speak any languages and how well guys you know what i don't care what anyone says i speak Igbo. yes it sounds like that guy hank Mwaku. i forgot his name i'm gonna put a clip here okay there's an adage that says hey the bell go bell I mean, where the hell did you get that from anyway? Because I don't believe in that. Damn, man. I believe in every bello go bello. You kissing me there, man, babe? I'm sure her way will go back. <laughs> I know that's what it sounds like, but I still be speaking it, and that's on her. I barely speak my dad's language, like barely. I had a colleague who was teaching me Aron, but I left um, the state, the office, so I couldn't continue learning. But yeah, that's it. I can speak. Okay, I feel like my Yoruba is really good because whenever I do speak it, people are always like, <laughs> "Are you Yoruba?" Like. First of all, I already get mistaken for being your about, which I don't know why. I think it's because of my body. But people are always like, wow, your your about sounds really good. So yeah, I speak it. I just be speaking whatever, girl. I be Googling different languages and speaking it. Like, <laughs> are you single or taken? I'm single right now. All these love questions, all these tags. I mean, I guess we're in the age group for that kind of conversation, right? Um... What is your idea of a dream date? <laughs> idea of a dream date is getting flewed out to London. If you know me, you know I have a thing for London. I've only been to London once and I something about London that really does it for me. Um, getting flewed out to London. Um, shopping, chilling, going to a nice restaurant. And then another, but my, my dream date involves getting flued out, like traveling somewhere, you know, so that's what I would say. But if I'm not getting flued out, my dream date would be right now on Zoom, okay, FaceTime, virtually. But if, um, when it warms up, I like stuff like picnics, you know, going to the beach, having conversation. I'm a very conversational person, so that would be my dream date. But dream, dream date, getting flued out. Although I was going to say that the um, the going to picnic is a realistic date, but getting flued out isn't. Getting flued out is realistic. So yeah, that's my dream date. <laughs> How long was your longest relationship? <laughs> He's going to say two years. I'm honestly going to say like a year and three months. <laughs> it's not funny at all. It's, it's crazy. Um, how would you describe your fashion sense? I like comfortable pieces that are sub subtly sexy. I like things that kind of accentuate my figure, but it's not a must. I don't really do trendy pieces. I like pieces that were made for plus size people, if that makes sense. So not like fast fashion, like, oh, we have this in 57 sizes. No, I like when these pieces like were made for my size because you can always tell the difference i like quirky jewelry fun quirky jewelry i like fun accessories i'm a bag person i love 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 bags how many siblings do i have i have three what are you watching on netflix i'm trying to watch behind her eyes but i can't really see and i'm not even trying to be funny <sighs> the lighting is just so dark and like not bright enough for dark skin how are you gonna make her the main character you don't even consider how she's gonna look on camera what kind of incons it's, it's not even incons it's, it's not even a shocking thing but it's just like what so i try to enjoy the show but it's kind of annoying to watch because of that um i watch billy on the streets <laughs> that i love that show like guys 
Billy on the Streets is really funny. I'm also kind of watching Bling Empire, but there's some parts of it that are really, really, really annoying. But I still watch it. Okay, so this is going to be my last question. What is your star sign? Do you relate to it? So apparently I'm a Libra. Ooh, I, I thought I did, but one time I was having a conversation with a friend and I was listing some things about what I I've, I've saw online were qualities of my sign and she was like no i have that too i'm the same way and and she's not um a libra <laughs> so i'm like i don't know um anybody could be these things but i'm being honest like if you subscribe to um astrology then yeah you're probably gonna see it differently <sighs> deep breaths all right guys thank you so much for joining me today on my get to know me tag i hope you know me a little bit better I know I missed a lot of things because really people are deep, you know, there's so much we can share about ourselves, but that's the long and short of it because I cannot keep you here for 75 hours just because I want to tell you about myself. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Thank you to everyone who sent in questions and thank you to youtubesociety.com for the two or three questions I got from your site. Good stuff. And I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing day. You guys know when I sit at the window, I get so distracted. <laughs> I might need to find another filming space because I'm getting so distracted. But thank you guys so much for watching once again. I'm going to see you soon. Bye.